In this video, I'll show you an easy way to quickly add plumbing line items to an estimate while simultaneously including graphics in the sketch. After I finish with the sketch in Xactimate, to use graphical estimation, I want to make sure that the view is not in full screen mode. This can be toggled on and off by going to Options and clicking on Full Screen, or by clicking into the Sketch workspace and pressing Shift Enter to toggle off full screen. This will bring up the search tool for line items. Using this search tool is really similar to going to Estimate Items and searching for line items there. I will click into the search window and type in Toilet. As I type, the Auto Predict feature will bring up line items based on the letters being used. This is helpful if I'm looking for an item that I may not know the exact name of. I will select Toilet. With Toilet selected, as I move my mouse cursor to my sketch, the mouse cursor now has a green toilet icon attached to it. I can rotate this clockwise by pressing Tab or counterclockwise by holding down Shift and pressing Tab. I will attach this to the north wall of the room. At this point, I notice three things. One, the block tool is highlighted up at the top of the screen. Two, the toilet icon stays on my cursor. This can be removed by pressing Escape. And three, I can see the toilet line item with all of this information. I will switch my view over to 3D mode by pressing three on the keyboard. Instead of a toilet, I see a green block. Remember, when I said the block tool was highlighted, graphical estimation will add block, area, line, or point objects to your sketch with the difference that these have line items attached to them. Switching back to plan view by pressing one, I will now continue to add more items to the bathroom. I will type in fiberglass tub, and select the bathtub or shower combo from the list. I will move my cursor over to the sketch and add the bathtub image to the bathroom. Next, I will add a sink by searching for sink and select the sink single item. I will then move my cursor over and add the sink to the bathroom. I can continue to add items one at a time to my sketch or I could add multiple items all at once, depending on the room type, which can be found by selecting a room and going to Properties and looking at Type in the General section. You can add a macro to a room, automatically adding numerous line items to a room. With a full bathroom on my sketch, I will select the room and then click on Options. I will then select Macros, then select the shared plumbing macro and click Run. This adds multiple plumbing items based on the room type using graphical estimation. That is how you can add plumbing line items using graphical estimation on the sketch tool. It is quick, easy, and makes the sketches look more professional with images. Fill out the survey below to let us know if there's anything you'd like to learn more about. And be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more expert tips each week.